Buy an exit strategy for Cardano? Cardano still a good investment? Do DeFi projects contribute to hacking? What does Charles Hoskinson say? If you want to learn all about it, then stay with me to find out more. And if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell. Welcome to Cardano Rumors, the best place for your daily dose of Cardano. Leading crypto trading expert Michael Vanda Poppy recently shared his current buy and exit strategy for Cardano, noting that the cryptocurrency has had a strong 2021 when compared to where it was trading at the start of the year, meaning 17 cents. However, he highlighted that if you acquired it pretty late, you're most probably down since it has dropped from $2.80 to even near to $1. Although it was a tough correction, it is not surprising given that more projects in the overall cryptocurrency market have experienced similar corrections. Poppy mentioned the levels at which he is looking to purchase ADA and the zones he is looking to sell, which are the entry and exit points for the trade, stating, there's still a big run to come when it comes to Cardano. Michael Van de Poppy confirmed, when we're looking at the USDT pair, you might want to conclude taking profits at $1.93 already, and then second, you want to look at profits around $2.38 that would be my exit plan when it comes to taking this trade. The trader's strategy is to take around 10-15% to profit at each level, he added. When we get into the Fibonacci extension too, or we start deriving that, we can start taking profits on $4.50 and $6.50, and then I'll completely be out but within those ranges. Taking profits and buying back in. What's more, when the ADA runs, the analyst believes that he will simply take profits from the retest's levels. As a result, the fact that he is taking profits here means that he will also be buying back in on a retest before it starts running, and then he would continue doing the same as the impulse waves will most likely bring greater profits. In particular, he indicated his trading plan at the moment. If I would like to have an exit plan and buy opportunity right now, when it comes to Cardano against USDT. I'll definitely be buying in between a buck towards $1.40, taking slight profits on those levels, taking heavy profits on those levels, and probably be completely out at $6.50. As a result, Poppy is not sure that Cardano would correct further, moreover, he believes that the situation has reached an interesting point at which it is worthwhile to begin looking at entry points. I'm not convinced that Cardano will be correcting, even more. I think that it's actually into an interesting point where you want to start looking into opportunities at this stage," he said. Cardano to hit $2. Recently, we highlighted in a report that as trend reversal indications begin to manifest themselves, Cardano may be on its way to $2. However, a move to the upside will depend on the bulls' ability to retain their position against the bears. Previously, the Cardano crypto community had estimated the price of ADA to hit $2.40 by December 31st. Currently, ADA is trading at $1.37, down 10.34% on the day and up marginally 1.41% over the last seven days, almost $1 less than the estimated price prediction. Cardano still a good investment? Cardano is the habitat for the ADA cryptocurrency, which is mainly used to send and receive digital funds, making direct transfers fast and possible through the use of cryptography. More than being a cryptocurrency, it is a technological platform that helps run the financial applications used by individuals and institutions worldwide. The platform is being constructed in layers that allow for upgrades of a soft fork. Cardano blockchain also runs decentralized applications and services which are not being controlled by any third parties. This is the first blockchain project designed by a global team of engineers and can be implemented on mission-critical systems such as aerospace and banking applications. Cardano is one of the biggest cryptocurrencies in the entire world, and so, in this article, we will discuss Cardano's price and future possibilities. The Cardano Foundation has also declared the launch of the final version of the Alonzo testnet, which will be featuring smart contracts on the platform. The new upgrade is termed Alonzo White, and with this release, investors are attracted to Cardano. Along with this, the coin was also added to the Grayscale Trust, and there are plenty of supporters of Cardano. Owing to the public's increased interest in Cardano and smart contracts, the organization behind the currency, Input Output Hong Kong, has spun up the Alonzo Purple Testnet. The onboarding process has already been initiated, and once done, the testnet will be made live. It was created by Charles Hoskinson, ex-Ethereum co-founder, and is considered a third-generation blockchain behind the likes of Bitcoin and Ethereum. It was launched back in 2017 to compete with Ethereum. 
The coin took over the number three spot after Ethereum after blockchain technology company IOHK developers of Cardano ADA announced the date for the Alonzo hard fork on the Cardano mainnet. Alonzo became live on the Cardano network on September 13, 2021, which might lead to a surge in Cardano prices. Is Cardano a good investment? If you are planning to invest in Cardano, you will most likely be wondering whether it is worth it and if it is a good investment. If we are to judge solely by the growth in the price over the past few years, Cardano is a great investment because it is more likely to increase significantly in the next few years. While regarded as an Ethereum killer by many, this is extremely unlikely. In my own opinion, Cardano will create its own niche within the global blockchain ecosystem but fail to flip Ethereum's ecosystem. Nonetheless, if you are bullish on cryptocurrencies in general, then it makes sense to invest in Cardano. Also, if you own Ethereum tokens, then Cardano is a good hedge that will likely offer more profit. It is a win-win. The fact that it is similar to Ethereum and shares similar functionality means it has lots of growth potential. The low cost of Cardano means there is potential for growth and cost less to acquire more coins as compared with other coins. Cardano offers security and scalability through layered architecture, which makes it unique and special. Cardano is one of the best-performed cryptocurrencies with good potential. However, this should not be taken as investment advice, and if you're thinking of investing, it's always recommended to do thorough research before making any such decisions. Do DeFi projects contribute to hacking? What does Charles Hoskinson say? The decentralized finance crypto ecosystem now has many shoddy and substandard projects most of which will run extinct in a span of 5 to 10 years according to Cardano founder Charles Hoskinson, who also believes that these projects are to blame for the massive hacking, scamming, and theft taking place in the blockchain and cryptocurrency industry. Most of these projects are built in haste without the required engineering, sustainability considerations, and lack transparency as founders look to get the most of their users. For this reason, a standard certification process and a standardization body for the DeFi industry will help avert crisis and eliminate these cases of building poor quality projects, he said. Many of you are tired of the incredible costs, the lack of clarity, and the low production quality of applications in the DeFi space. Over $10.5 billion of hacks, design flaws, scams, and outright theft have occurred just this year in the DeFi space mostly in Ethereum space. We can do better as an industry and the point of Cardano is we have a platform to do that. Hoskinson said it is important to take time to build a lasting ecosystem citing the scientific and simulation approaches employed in building Cardano. The numerous delays in the implementation have also served to strengthen the team according to Hoskinson who said it is important to do things right away for a project to survive extinction. He said Cardano has DeFi projects unlike what critics claim that they do not exist on the blockchain, it now has lending, marketplace, payments, meme coins, stablecoins, dApp wallets, decentralized exchanges, finance, liquidity, and even non-fungible tokens which were enabled since May this year. Around 2 million assets are now being issued on the platform, and these will grow to 10 times or more by end of next year given the NFT's revolution, and most of these will become DeFi tokens. He said the Cardano blockchain currently has 127 DeFi projects in the works, and is expecting decentralized exchanges to start launching next few weeks because some of these are being built already, and some are in proposal stages. The Cardano DeFi Alliance is also in the works and will be involved in promoting training, investing, innovation, collaboration, communication, and other DeFi matters on the blockchain. It looks like we will have DEXs imminently like in the next few weeks launching on Cardano in some capacity on the mainnet. They are already on the testnet and there are already some on the mainnet and there is a lot of competition there. Also Cody has been making phenomena progress on JED, there is Oracle progress, there is a lot of things that are being worked on and actively coded to be deployed and commercialized on Cardano. So in the next 90 days in the Q1 of 2022 is going to be a very busy time and we are going to see a lot of stuff come out. Most of the improvements currently being worked on will be launched and commercialized between January and June and updates will be given in the upcoming February and June Cardano events. The testnet for the Ethereum virtual machine will be activated in the first half so people can start deploying and building applications there, and these will be turned on the mainnet in the second half of the year. So it is a very collaborative process. There are tons of people in the community, 2 million. Some are building bespoke infrastructure others using Plutus applications in the backend following it along, 
some people are building very complicated heavy Cardano applications, some people are just integrating Cardano support into existing applications. What are your thoughts on this? Tell me in the comments section. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a like. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video. And remember, the information provided is not trading advice. We strongly recommend independent research and our consultation with a qualified professional before making any investment decisions. Thank you for watching and stay strong.